So we're going to be talking about YouTube today um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, um, it's a good way to access all of Smart's videos. You can go on our YouTube channel um, and we'll show you how to do that. Um, so you have access to all the videos as they're coming up. Um, it's also just sort of fun to go in and find videos and um, share them with people and, you know, just watch stuff on there. It's a good thing to do on a rainy day. There's everything you could imagine <laughs> on YouTube from really goofy stuff to news to um, uh, like uh, Christina was watching something on composting. Um, so there's there's all sorts of like um, instructional things and like uh, cooking and all sorts of things. So um, it's just a good resource to have and use. So we're going to talk about some of those sort of basic functions of YouTube so you can navigate it. Um, so we're going to start out looking at um, looking at it on the computer and then we'll look at it on the phone. Um, the first thing to know is um, that YouTube is a uh, Google app which means if you have a Gmail account or any sort of Google account, then you can automatically log into YouTube. Um, so if you, what you would do to log in, we'll show you this on the phone too. That up there is gonna be your, um, the information about your account. So you can see Christina's logged in as Smart Tutorials NYC right now, um, and that is linked to a Gmail account. So we'll look at how you do that on the phone too. Um, so again, if you have any sort of Google account, um, then you have direct access to YouTube already because it's sort of integrated with Google. Um, so when you log on, what you'll see is this opening screen. So right there, you're on youtube.com. So if you're on a computer, you can just go in and either type YouTube and look it up or just type in youtube.com and that'll take you there. So right now you see that right on the side, we're at the home page. All right. And on the home page, what it has is basically a whole bunch of recommendations for videos for you to watch. So you can see, you know, we have everything from the bamboo water fountain to a family rescuing a baby fox. So it's just things that they're that are popular and they're um, recommending for us. So let's say we clicked on you see these little um, categories at the top, like they're little um, like suggestions of different things. Um, let's say we clicked on um, background music, the one all the way on the right there. So we click on that and look, it'll give us these options for different kinds of background music that we could play. So, I mean, you can look up anything really and you will find something on here. Um, so we wanna take you, just so you know how to get there, we wanna take you to, um, smart tutorial of uh, the smart um, YouTube channel. So you should be getting these emails that um, that are the smart uh, university, the video digest. Um, and that if you click on those, it'll take you straight to our channel. But if you're on YouTube, you can look up smart tutorials NYC. That's our channel. And your channel is basically just like anywhere that you post videos. So somebody posts videos, that's what their channel is going to be. Um, so this is where all the um, smart videos reside. This is where this video will reside eventually. Okay, so this is the channel. All right. And what you'll see here is, okay, so if you go down and look at um, the videos, we have the one of the fish stew from last week. We have the financial abuse video. We have um, preventing and spotting strokes. So we have everything that we've done recently. So if you click on videos, you'll see everything on our channel. All right, so you have the art project, you have um, the different, all the different recipes we've done, you have all the tech talks, you have everything, look at that. So you can go back to any of these and, um, and you can watch them whenever you want to. Okay, let's look at playlists. So what playlist is, is you can create um, you can create your own sort of list. Let's go to the smart university one. So what you can do is you can create a playlist like you would almost if you were listening to like, um, if you were using a music channel or something. So what you can do is you can sort um, videos that you want to watch into different playlists. So what this is, is things that Christina has saved for smart university. It's just a place for you to save different kinds of videos. So you could have you know, one playlist that says, you know, this is for my back, all my background music that I'm just going to play while I'm doing stuff. And then you have one playlist that's recipes that you like. Um, so you can just, that's just how you would organize it. And we'll show you some more of that on the phone. So you see, we have smart art, we have smart tech, we have a smart body. They're all sort of broken down into that. So let's say we're looking at the Zoom app tech talk. 
All right, so you can see on here, oh, we have two likes already, look at that. Um, so you see that that thumbs up and thumbs down. So that's the thing that they have on here. It's almost like on Facebook, except they give you the option of thumbs down. <laughs> so they can give you the negative option here too. Um, but so what you can do is you can like or un dislike a video. Um, and what that does, not only is that giving, you know, the creator of the video feedback, it's also um, sort of teaching YouTube what kind of videos you like. So what that means is your suggestions in the future will be more sort of tailored to what you've liked in the past or what you've just liked too. So they won't show you the kind of videos that you dislike, and they will show you more of the ones that you like. So we're going to go ahead and like this one. And that would mean in the future, they're going to show us more videos like this. And it's also, again, it's a good way to tell, you know, the creator of the video that you appreciate their content. And you can also um, add comments too. So if you wanted to say, so here, if you wanted to say like, I really enjoyed this video, you could do that too. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so that's a way to sort of interact and also to, um, to specify, sort of make what videos YouTube is showing you more specific when you open that front home page. If you are on a specific video, right here would be a big red button that says subscribe, um, mm -hmm. as well as have a bell icon for notifications when a video is uploaded. Um, if you also want to follow pages, like um, there are different social media accounts, they'll have like little mm -hmm. icons up at the top like over here, like I have our Facebook, our Twitter, and our Instagram connected, and of course our website. And also in the About section, they have links for that. So if it's not Smart University, if you're just watching a different YouTuber, they should have links to their other social media accounts if you want to stay in touch with them in different ways if we're yeah. using any of these other platforms. Um, that's You'll about, get notifications yeah. up here, like when if you click that bell for any of the people that you subscribe to, um, this is where it'll be. You'll get all of these notifications if anyone comments, like replies to your comment um, or uploaded a video or sent you a direct message or anything like that. And what I want to do is I want to show you how to go from how to use the um, email digest to just get directly to YouTube and then we'll look at some functions there. Okay, so we're going to go to Gmail. And like I said, um, if you have a Gmail account, you already have access to um, YouTube. So okay, so at the top of my list here, I have Christina's video digest email. All right. And it says you see here to subscribe to our YouTube page, check out smart tutorials NYC. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And that will automatically open up in YouTube for me. Okay. And so this is the button that Christina was talking about where you see subscribe right there. What that means is whenever, whenever um, Smart puts up a new video, I'll get a notification about it and I'll end up, end up in my subscriptions. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna hit that red button that says subscribe because I wanna know when all of these videos come on. Okay. And so once I've done that, I'm going to, you'll see down at the bottom next to that plus sign on the right, there's a menu that says subscriptions. So if I go here, it'll show me that I'm subscribed to Smart. And look, it'll give me in my subscriptions, I'll have access to all the videos from there. And when this video, the one that we're making right now goes up, I'll get a notification and that'll be at the top of the list. So that's really helpful if there's a particular channel that you watch a lot like Smart. Um, to go ahead and subscribe to that. Yeah. So if you click that bell, that shows that you actually want to get a little message um, saying this new video was posted. So we're going to say all on here. So we're going to get notification. That'll give us notifications every time a new smart video gets posted. Um, and again, so we can go in and click on any of these videos. We're going to look at the, um, the one from Sam. There's Sam squeezing her or lemon or lime. I can't remember. What it was. I didn't see what it was. Um, I think it was a lime. And um, so we're going to go ahead and you see the, the thumbs up there. We're going to like that. And again, that's going to help sort of uh, specify which videos are um, that YouTube is showing us from the beginning. And we can also save. I'm going to show you how to do um, specific playlists. So where it says save here, let's say I wanted to make a playlist of all of the recipes that I wanted to try. So I'm going to say saved 
right now this playlist is watch later. Okay, so we're gonna go and look at it. I'm gonna hit change at the bottom. I'm gonna say new playlist. So I'm gonna say recipes. And I'm gonna make this a private playlist. You can make it public so other people see it, but for right now, I'm just gonna make it private because it's for me to watch it. Okay, and see, look. So if I go to this playlist now that says recipes, I have this, the stew on there and I can add more as we go along. So let's say I go down and I say, oh, here's the eggplant one. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna hit save and that's saved to recipes too. So now we've got both of those on there. You can do that for anything. And you can do that on any channel too. I'm just using smart as the example here. If you have an Android, YouTube should actually be in your apps already. So um, if you can't find it, if you have one of these folders that says Google, if you see on the top, um, the top uh, like third over on mine, I'm gonna click on that. It's a Google app, so it'll be in your Google folder. So just click YouTube and that'll take you directly there. Um, and then the other thing to know about YouTube is that um, you can get a premium subscription to YouTube. If you are very into YouTube um, and you find yourself watching it and you don't wanna see the ads that go with it, or you wanna be able to watch things when you're offline, like download things and watch them when you're offline, um, you can pay $11.99 a month and um, get a subscription for it. They have a free two month trial. Um, I would say like, if you, if you really find yourself using YouTube a lot, it's probably worth it. If you don't and you can bear the ads, um, then it's otherwise free, but that's just something to keep in mind. Again, too, so this is what the home page looks like on the phone. So we can look at what videos are trending. We can look at music. You know, we can look at all sorts of different categories here and just find things that we want to watch. And then if we wanted to go back to um, anything that Smart was doing, we would just go back to our subscriptions and that'll take us there. I do encourage everybody to look out for the email digest um, that goes, that Christina sends out once a month. Um, and that is a good place to sort of practice getting to YouTube, um, considering, you know, subscribing to uh, Smart's channel and then liking videos. It's just another way to sort of interact and um, have access to everything that we're doing. All the COVID videos that we did have captions in English, Spanish, and Mandarin. Um, so there's a, there's a link there. If you go under university, that second one, just so you know that those it's available with captions in all three languages. Um, if you hover over, over you'll CC. see the CC, yep. And then once you click on that. Okay, you see the CC, I'm sorry, I'm doing two things at once. The CC up yeah. in the corner there, you're gonna click on that and see it says at the bottom, it says subtitles turned on in English. And then press the three dots to get okay. the um, other options. Yeah, that's a lot okay. on the phone. Okay. Yeah, it is. All right. Okay. See, if you, okay, you're going to press those three dots in the top corner and it'll give you the, um, the option to do captions in Chinese, Spanish, or English. We're going to go ahead and do Chinese just to see what it looks like. And see, there you have it there. Um, and Lydia did the captions here. Um, so you have all of this available. Um, to you captioned as well, and also in Spanish. Um, so that's really, that's a good thing to know with those videos in particular. So feel free to um, share those with other people as well. So this is the video nice and big if you're using it on a laptop or computer, anything like that. Um, so you don't really have to hover over. I just pause the video and it keeps that up. Yeah. Um, I could see the phone being a little tricky. With <laughs> yeah, it's a little they different. They are there. It's yeah. the same video, just a different app. Um, so here's the closed captions right here. If I hover over, it says English. Mm -hmm. Click the little gear button for settings. And in settings is this little gear button right next to closed captions. I would click this right now. It's automatically mm -hmm. on English. Then we have Chinese, Spanish, and then auto translate. Um, so for anyone who's doing a different language that we haven't done the captions ourselves, or you could just turn them off. Art videos, I we transcribe those captions. Yeah. And then the uni all of the university one, not all of them, all of the COVID ones, because we thought it was important that they were translated. Um, 
those have captions made by us, but I do set up the rest of the videos to auto caption. Okay, so this was from the last art project. And so if we go there, we have subtitles for that as well. So the captions will show up right at the bottom of the page. All right, bye everyone. Bye everybody, thank you so much. Bye.